What's up, members of the barrio? It's John, and us New Yorkers are used to some pretty crazy things living here. But on your first visit to the Big Apple, there's gonna be some things that I think will surprise you. So today, I'm gonna be sharing 10 things that will shock you about visiting New York City. Make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me something shocking about your city. Here we go. This place is dirty, and it's not a knock against the city sanitation workers. In Manhattan alone, on any given workday, there's over four million people here. New York City has a population greater than 40 of the 50 US states. It's just tough to keep clean, and you're commonly gonna walk past trash strewn in many parts of the streets. And then there's the disgusting stuff like puke, poop, other unidentifiable things you may run into from time to time. And as somebody who may be coming from small town America, I think this could be your greatest shock. It's really loud here, no joke. Finding peace and quiet in New York City can be very difficult. We've got sirens, we've got trucks, we have people blasting music, honking horns. It's something that you just kind of get used to living here, but noise pollution is a serious thing in New York City and something that could definitely shock you depending on where you're coming from. There's so many things that could shock you about the New York City subway system. The first of which is, I don't think it's that complicated. Now Tokyo, that's one complicated subway system. Your best bet for New York City on your first trip here is to use Google Maps on your phone. It'll help you out a lot. One thing you're definitely gonna see here if you take the subway enough are rats. Rats running on the tracks over there. So if you don't like the sight of rats, do yourself a favor and don't stare down below at the tracks at any point while you're waiting for a train. Another thing that could shock you is when you're riding a subway car, you're crammed next to a lot of people and from time to time you're gonna run into some mentally unstable folks who are shouting, cursing, doing weird things. Usually they're not gonna bother you but I think it could be a bit of a shock to see that sort of behavior. People sleeping on the seats, people who haven't showered in a while. One piece of advice, if you get onto a subway car and nobody's on it and all the other cars are packed, there's usually a reason for it. Homelessness is sadly a problem in New York City as it is in many cities around the world. You are likely to get approached multiple times a day being asked for money. There's gonna be a lot of people begging on different corners, holding up signs, asking for food, asking for money, depending on where you are. And as a resident of this city, it's sadly something that you just get used to seeing. And I think if you come from a place in the United States where you can leave your front door unlocked at night, it could be a really big culture shock. Now, if you do want to help combat homelessness, I'm, li I'm leaving a link down below in the description to Coalition for the Homeless. So if you want to donate your time, money, or goods, check them out. You've probably realized how diverse New York City is before even coming here, but did you know that there's over 800 languages spoken in New York on any given day, and that 40% of the population here was born outside of the United States? This is the most diverse place on earth. The cab driver who's gonna pick you up at JFK is likely not to have English as his first language. And the diversity goes beyond culture, it also goes into politics, religion, sexuality. Visiting New York City is a place for people who need to be open-minded and that's something that you've gotta be aware of. You may be shocked to hear that it's actually easier to find halal trucks than it is hot dog carts around New York City. And not all of the shocks on this list are a bad thing, especially if you're a big late night eater like I am. What taco trucks are to LA, halal carts are to New York City. Rice, chicken, veggies, it's cheap, and you bet it's delicious. In all the movies, New Yorkers have such a bad reputation for being rude or obnoxious. But the truth is, if you just ask for help, we are more than willing to assist you. I have helped out tourists with maps who looked lost before. Heck, I had a stranger walk up to me because I dropped this very glove about 10 minutes ago. So all of that stuff is just stereotype 
definitely not true, but the one thing that gets locals the most upset is when you walk slowly in front of them. That's the only thing I have to say. There's many big cities in the world that are just not pedestrian friendly. New York is not one of them. You can walk just about anywhere. You can walk over the George Washington Bridge. You can walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. Anywhere in Manhattan, up to down. Bring comfortable walking shoes. This is an extremely pedestrian friendly city. People here completely disregard traffic signals and the crosswalk. They cross the street and jaywalk basically wherever they want. And I can usually tell who the tourists are because they actually wait politely at the crosswalk. It's not like Vietnam where people are zigging and zagging their way through oncoming traffic. But if we're in New York and a local sees no cars coming, we're gonna cross the street. And I had a bit of reverse culture shock when I was in Tokyo, and I saw all the people there stopping at night. There were no cars in sight anywhere, and they still waited until the signal changed. You're gonna discover how expensive New York City is before you even arrive here when you begin to look at hotels. Unless it's the dead of winter, like it is right now, hotel prices can be pretty ridiculous, but it's not just hotels. I've covered cheap food before on this channel, check out that playlist. But generally speaking, restaurants can cost you a lot of money. It is tough to get a drink and an entree for under $30 in many places. And then if you wanna go out after to a bar, a club, a lounge, we're talking about nine to $10 beers in many spots, $15 cocktails, it can add up very quickly, and that is something I can see shocking a lot of people. Since I couldn't narrow this list down to just 10 potentially shocking things, I'm giving one bonus. And when you come from smaller places in the United States, there's this strip mall culture where you can go to just one location and get your food shopping done, get your errands done, go to a restaurant, all in little segmented areas, while in New York, there's a lot more mom and pop shops. We do have the chain restaurants, but most New Yorkers don't commonly eat at them, and that's why I'm always telling my viewers, if you're in Times Square, don't eat at the Olive Garden. There is so much to explore here, and that's one of the many things that makes New York City so unique in the United States, is there are so many individually owned restaurants and places to explore. Tell me down below in the comments what was the biggest shock when you first came to New York City, or if you haven't visited, what you're most anxious about. Be sure to subscribe if you're new for more tips, tricks, and adventures in New York City and beyond. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time. Yeah. Guys, we have a new co-host. Is it a girl or boy? Boy. What's his name? Snacks. Snacks? <laughs> Snacks. Snacks wants me to ride him like a horse.